Hey Fuzzy Goat family, Melissa here on this wonderful Tuesday afternoon. I hope y'all had a great week I, and I'm gearing up for Super Bowl. No, not really. I really don't care, but it's nice because everybody's content and I can sit and knit. So what do I want to say? Had a great weekend. I got together with some of my college friends. It's incredible. Like when you think about all the memories you jam into that time. So that was really cool. We had a lot of laughs and um, hello, Harriet. Happy Tuesday. So, and I, I had got some knitting done, I will show you. And I have one of my girlfriends that is, a, I believe, a self-taught knitter. She might use YouTube some. So I was able to show her a couple tricks on the on her pearl stitch that, um, that, she, that made her go faster and she liked the stitch a little better. And she didn't have any problem pulling out her project, which was awesome. And so that's always fun. So here I am on Tuesday. I am wearing a Caitlin, I forgot about the sweater. Uh, it's a Caitlin Hunter... I'm going to say it wrong, so I'm going to spell it. Okay, it's Z, I hope you all can hear me. Z-W-E-I-G. Zweg? I don't know. But it's Caitlin Hunter. Fingering uh, weight. As you can see, it's got a little bit of color work. Um, a lot of lace, which I love. There's also, let me stand up so you guys can see it. Oops, sorry. Wobbling, wobbling. Um, so there, I'm just going to show you. So the body has a little something going on there, a little cable thing going on. So it was super fun. Um, very, you know, kept your interest. Again, it's fingering weight. And I forgot I had it. So that's when you know you have a lot of sweaters. So what else do I want to share with you? I have some new things I get to share with you today. Let's see. Are you sliding down on me? Um, and again, I'm a little late. Sorry. Got a little preoccupied here at the shop. These are, I don't think Cadence has shown these, but if she has, that's okay. These are Ringo. They're little stitch markers, not stoppers, markers. We've always carried them, at least since I've been here, and we have three different sizes. We have, what do we call this size? Hold on. I think we just have the original, like a, maybe it's a small. So it's a small stitch marker. I'll show you those in a second. Um, these are, we call the extra large, but they're really pretty. See, they'll have little thingies on them. And then we have jumbo. So we have three different sizes. They're called Ringo, if you want to look them up on our website, fuzzygoatyarns.com. But we just got in the Fuzzy Goat colorway. And I think, I think we'll call them Fuzzy Goat. But they're Ringo. So this is our color. These are the extra large. So you get two, four, six, you get ten. And a little, little tin. Doesn't that sound so cute? Let me close it up for you. And then this is the smaller size right here let me show you and you go on our website it'll probably tell you what sizes needles they go up to so these are the smaller ones which i actually just got some of these so these are the fuzzy goat colorway but we also have like an original colorway which so the the rings are not all this blue color they're different colors but they all have the little beads on them so you check them out it's always fun to have different stitch markers all right and then i have a couple other things i want to show you well ah, can't get it shut all right this little guy oh and i'm not sure what we're calling this madeline do you know what we're calling this tin with the sheep on it i meant to look can you look it up for me it's a little tin with all these sheep i feel like i'm back in scotland but it comes apart so one thing i'm thinking of little kids would love it but what a great way to put different it has three different compartments and I so could see my son doing this, like trying to match it up. I, I don't know. I could just so see that. Did you? British sheep. British sheep yeah. tin. Of course. Yeah. So that's that. Um, just a fun way to store your stuff, right? Sit. The dogs can't get, boy, the dogs have fun rolling this around, but they can't get into it. So that's kind of nice. So that's the tin. And then we have the British bags. So I should have known that was called the British tin. These are some new little bags. And they're going out the door. We haven't even shown them to y'all yet. This is the sheep. I think that's what we're calling this one. Let's make sure. Not even a tag on it. This is a sheep one. Let's look on the inside. These are little sheep heads. That is so cute. Very cute. And then it cinches, and then it has a little handle here. Is there something? I don't think that's it. A little handle. Let's see if there's any. Let's see if there's any pockets in here. No little pockets. But guess what? You could put this guy in there, and you put all your stuff in there that you need. So, sheep. And then we have two that look look crocheted. It's not crocheted. It's the print, but it looks crocheted. Pretty cool. 
Which is this habitat? No, this one doesn't either. So this is the other crocheted one. Oh, let me show the inside of that one. So it's, it's lighter, which is always makes it nice to find things. This is the other one. So fun. And then that's the inside of that one. And this is the bee one. Who doesn't love a busy bee buzzing around? Beautiful bees. That's what it says on here. Beautiful bees buzz, buzz, buzzing around. Buzz, buzz, buzzing about. Beautiful bees. And then it's got the inside kind of stripey. So cool. So check those out on our website. And I showed you the markers and I showed you the Tim. And I told you about my sweater, right? And I'm, I'll put the link up to my sweater as well, because I don't think this is on our website. This sweater, I've had it that long. It's before I was, even lived here. So it's a long time. All right, where do I want to start? Let's start with my new cast on that I did this weekend. And I've been talking about it, so y'all probably aren't going to be surprised. This is the um, Valentine at, using the Mystico yarn. So I did cast it on on my little girl's weekend. And let's see. I have, so it's, it's top down. I did the neckline, as you can see, it starts at the neck. I've done, let's see if you can tell. So hard to tell. I have done my short rows, and you can see the back is longer. So I've done my short rows, and I have some increases going on. I think I've done my last increase row. So now I'm probably going to need to go to my longer um, needles. I did have to go down, I think it called for a seven. I think I had, I think I'm knitting on a five. It's, the yarn is really nice. Um, I, they do call it worsted. I think it's because it kind of gets plumy or it like, whoosh, you know, opens up. It's very soft. Oh, Lynn is knitting the same sweater. Super fun, right, Lynn? I'm getting ready to go on the chart, which kind of reminds me of this too. So that we're getting ready to go to the lace chart. Um, and I have gotten, I just got the placeholder, the fuzzy goat placeholder. So I'm going to, use that on this chart and see how it goes because usually I'm a tape girl but I'm going to use the fuzzy goat um, placeholder um, pattern holder not placeholder pattern holder on this so yeah so this is I'm doing the blue color we have some other colors over here let me grab you a couple I'll grab you a couple colors hold on hang on and we do have some quantities probably if you'd like to do a sweater I'm back. Um, so we have this pink color. What are we calling it? Oh, they're numbers. 28, 25, 18. It's kind of a pinky color. We have this lovely green, which is 28, 35. Pretty, right? See, it's got these little specks in them. Uh, this, was a, this was a color of, that decided to go with the green, blue, green, blue. I'm not sure. Blue, I guess. I guess it depends on what it's next to. Anyway, um, but of course I struggled because I like this color too. 2546. Oh, and this is the one, this is the color they actually made the sample out of. We saw it market. Um, 2524. Just so fun. And it's cotton. So like for us around here, um, it, it's just a nice, you know, worsted, worsted weight. But it is, you know, not too heavy. So this is mine. This is Valentine. Again, the yarn is Mystico. All right. What else? I feel like there's something else I was just going to tell you, but I lost it. Oh, my. Y'all are sliding down on me, or I'm sliding down on you. I'm not sure. There we go. Can you hear me? Okay. Um, you're doing, Teresa's doing one too. You're doing gold. Gosh, okay. We're just doing a little knit along. Now this, this sweater I'm doing for my friend, hopefully she didn't ask for it. It's going to be a little surprise. Hopefully she likes it. This is the love note. And you can see that I also made some progress here. I've separated the sleeves, finished the chart. Now I know it's kind of hard to tell what's going on with this, but it's a lace thing. So I will probably block it. So it'll lay, it's going to be pretty open. Um, just so it opens up and lays kind of flat. I'm just looking at, I thought I had a hole in my sweater. It's not a hole. So that's the top. But this is my, the neck is not this big. I will pick it up. I have, um, oh my gosh. What's this, what's this cast on called? It just left me. Provisional. 
<laughs> Provisional cast on Alan, you were supposed to do a shout out and tell me the answer to that. And so these stitches are live. I will take the red yarn out and um, pick up these stitches and bring in the neck. It does look awfully big, but I have learned that that can be misleading. So I think I'm full of hope that it's going to be fine. So I've separated the sleeves. I'm now into the body. I think I've got a ways to go. I'm on 11s for this, so it should be pretty fast. I think I'm not doing the crop top. I know that. That's not, I don't think that. I know that. So I think that I have 11 inches to go. So quite a ways to go there. And I might go a little longer because my friend is a little bit taller than me. So I don't think she wants to crop either. So I'll do a little longer. Um, excuse me. A little bit taller than I was corrected. And um, it's a DK weight. You can also make this using um, fingering and a lace weight held together, which may be a project for me in the future. For, my, for myself, is that correct? For myself, Alan. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's that one. I'm, I'm really whittling down. I have two, four projects. Say two. But I am working on the express yourself. I have to finish that second sleeve. And I'm hoping it gets cold enough that maybe I can wear it again before spring comes here. Uh, but I have just a couple more rows. So I didn't bring it because it's pretty big. And just try to make my life a little simpler this morning. Okay, so you hear? You hear my, those are my little markers that I got in here. The new ones. What's happening here? I got things sticking into my sweater. This is my look alan this is my cardigan okay so i finished the body of my cardigan and it's interesting because i did try it on several times and i thought for sure that i would go longer than 10 inches but when i tried it on i don't know if it's because this part is longer but the 10 inches was fine for me now again i don't have it going all the way down my my bum or anything like i have it it's not crop, but I am short-waisted. Um, so I'm just saying that if anybody else is making it, just try it on. Um, I did the seed stitch on the bottom, and I did that the Pico bind-off, which I love. I'm sorry, I-cord bind-off, sorry. I love an I-cord bind-off, but let me tell you, I worked on this Saturday on my girls' weekend, and it took me a long time, like hours, I want to say a couple hours pretty much un, uninterrupted, like we were sitting there talking. It's definitely well worth it. I think it makes it lay nice. Of course, I have to block it. But it's very much time-consuming. But, you know, we have the I-cord already built in here on the side, so it has to match. So anyway, I'm super excited. I did even get started on my sleeve. So, yeah, I got a ways to go on that. I'm definitely making the sleeve longer for me. I just wouldn't. Sorry, I see a hole, I see a hole in my sweater. There we go. I had my where I where I attached my sleeve. I had a little hole that was bothering me. Yeah, so there I am. You can kind of see where I've gone from one color to the next, but or one skein, but uh, it doesn't bother me at all. Yeah. So there we go. This is the Gambit Cardi, and I'm on the sleeves. It's very exciting. Very very exciting. All right. And then I have a oh, one other to show you. Oh. All right, and that's the Gambit Cardi. This is the class we're doing. Um, I'm trying to think if there's something I was going to tell you guys about that. I don't think so. I think it was just because all I really did on that was the I cord bind off. And then this is the Helga cardigan. I love this, but it is really going to take me, well, until I can, I guess, separate my sleeves. It's going to really take me a long time. This is um, holding two lace together. I have them in my little mesh bags, which I love because I do pull from the outside. These are Cocoa Knits mesh bags. You can also find them on our website. So the balls just kind of bounce around in here and um, you can make it as wide or as, you know, as thin as you want to. One of these I notice, which one is this one? This one was kind of like a, a football, like you know, long. So I had to, I have to open it up, otherwise it bounces out. And then the other one, which I think I'm almost done with this game, is more of a donut. And I'm almost, 
I'm almost done with that one, which is exciting. So let me get back to the sweater for you. These are held together. This it keeps it nice to keep these in the bag. They don't get tangled at all. And I just pull what I need out. Sorry, I'm trying to get it all back in there. Um, I do have to pay a little atten more attention to this one because it is, uh, they're thin so I, and it's held, holding them together. So I want to make sure that I get both of them when I'm knitting. But let's go back to this. I believe I've told you I have to get, I'm a little, let's see, back up here. This is the side where my button holes are on. And I'm not, I think in the beginning I wasn't doing something, something right right here. But I have to get, I can't see it on that side. Oh, really quiet. Um, 10 of the cables on the front. I mean, 20, I think. So I'm at 10, so I'm halfway there. At that point, I will be separating the sleeves, which is right here. You can see the raglan with the cables, which is just so cool. This is my back. And I, I got a little worried last night that it was getting too, too wide. But when I actually put it on, Unfortunately, it is not too wide, so I have to keep going. I was hoping that maybe I wouldn't have to do my increases anymore. It, it's going to be something like this, right? This is going to be the front. So clearly, you can see not nearly wide enough. So I will keep going. I think I'm going to have like 400 stitches before <laughs> you should see Alan's face. Before I have to take off the sleeves, 400 stitches. That's going to be a lot. So this is the Helga again. Using two lace ones together, you could probably do this using um, a fingering and you'd be fine. I'm trying to separate them so you can see them. But I'm using the Assayer um, Trio and the Assayer Alpaca One. I think that's what it's called. Um, we, have, we do have some of this yarn on our website. All right. I think that's all I have for you guys today. I um, hope you have a good week and have fun watching the Super Bowl or maybe not watching the Super Bowl while other people are watching it. You could be knitting. That's puppy bowl. the puppy bowl. The puppy bowl. Um, is that the same day? Is that yeah. Sunday? Okay. So maybe I'll watch that. Um, anyway. All right. You guys have a great week. Let us know if we can help you. You can text us or call us or email us. Uh, as we'd like to send you pictures or ideas of yarns together. Um, so let us know if we can do that for you. 2 p.m. on Sunday. Yeah. So before yeah. Eastern time, before the Eastern Super Bowl. Animal Planet. Animal Planet. There you go. All right. Y'all have a great week. Take care. Bye.